Hey guys, it's John, and today we're going to be playing Walking Dead Final Season Episode 3. Just came out this Tuesday, and I didn't think we'd ever see it, but then it got rescued and was finished by another developer. So let's go ahead and just get started. If you want to see the previous episodes, I'll have a playlist linked in the description. So without further ado, Episode 3, Broken Toys. What's going to happen to Clementine and AJ? Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh, I can't. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. Oh. <laughs> and AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ. But without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together, and I admitted I had feelings for her. She felt the same way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only Dumbass. a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. Oh, yeah. We captured him. I forgot. We're going to have some fun with him. Here we go. I'm excited to see what this episode is like. I assume it'll be... I assume it'll be uh, pretty much identical to if Telltale had actually finished it. Or as close to it as they could get. Mitch. <laughs> yeah, well, he wins a Darwin Award. I'm sorry, did you see what happened? What a somber beginning. At the start, I was so little. And Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. He'd want you to go on. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Try to pull yourself together. That's a little insensitive. Kid's grieving. He'd want you to go on. looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that doesn't make it any easier he'd want us to find our friends and bring them home safe and he'd want us to kill the people who took them hey all right AJ's slow down for you in the basement we got abel tied up tight he's alive but he's out cold thanks we should bury mitch it's time I'll help you can. Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! How dare you? Really? Well, How dare true. you? It wasn't Ted's fault! We had a plan and that idiot messed it up! Hey! Come on, Willie, none of this is Ted's fault. I stand fault. ten. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! There's ten. tension in the group. I'll take care of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and Asim. Oh, right. 
Don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Hmm. We'll have a bold choice to make. Should we beat the ever-living crap out of him? Or should we hold off and hope that he returns the favor later? That never works out. Whenever you do that in these choice games, it never works out. It's like, eh, I'll do them a solid now. Maybe they'll do me a solid later. Never happens. <laughs> Whenever they get free later and they're in a position to help you, they're like, yeah. <laughs> Even though you could have hurt me earlier, guess what? <laughs> Especially this guy. Come on. Telltale games are usually full of deep characters. That's like slightly sarcasm. But this one, he's a one dimensional asshole. He should be strong enough to hold him. Let's put it over his mouth. <laughs> and then ask him a bunch of stuff. Pick up sketch pad. We'll torture him with this. Time for you to draw something with no pay. Recreate my furry OC. So, dog. Ooh, we should stick dog on him. He will not expect that. Pet Rosie. You're still cool with me, right? I pet you last episode, I think. She's my dog now. <laughs> Is she? We have dog. I got an achievement. Best girl. I agree. Wait. Oh, this is where AJ is, right? They said that. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. We know ways to make you talk. Still want dibs? It's different like this. With well, them all broken. But I still hate them. I do too. It's okay. Ready? Draw on the sketch pad. Slap him. Let AJ wake him. Drench him? What? <laughs> Do we have water or something? Shout at him. That'll get him good. He won't know how to react to that. Let AJ wake him. Is he gonna fire off a gunshot? Does he even have any bullets left? Let AJ wake him. Wake him up. <sighs> Time to harden AJ. Wake up, stupid shitting <laughs> fuckhead. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <clears throat> I'm glad I chose that. Well, that ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. Oh, now you're an old man, huh? I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I, I wasn't give a prisoner a if you get my meaning. All right. <laughs> Drink. You got good man or squirt? Let's let him drink. Do. And then when he gets cocky, that's when we beat the <laughs> crap out of him. <laughs> He's not gonna talk to us if he, You've had if your he water. dies, you know? Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Okay. Well, now we'll just beat the crap out of you. harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. That, no, she's not. No, you she's give not. Give me the five star treatment. Okay. If I'm smiling when she gets here, slam his head. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? I don't want to appear weak. Obviously. That ain't five star. Tell us where they took our friends, or she'll do it again. <coughs> Lily will never give them up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Mm. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. I, I wonder We're what they're fighting, back. you know? You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast, back okay. in the Delta, we're at war with some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. <gasps> the saviors? We need the people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, 
point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy. <laughs> eh, cut off that sentence. There's no way I'd let my people fight for you. I'm starting to think you're mad at me. You think we like doing raids like this? I don't, actually. Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. I'm sure he would have told us that no matter what, but I like to think that it was the torture. <laughs> Read it. AKA me slamming his head twice. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. What, you're smoking a Bible page? I assume there's Help things me in there. Stuff. Ooh. Like where Lily went. Consider the consequence. Come on, kid. Let him smoke. Don't make me wait all day. <laughs> <laughs> AJ noticed that. I'm out of patience, Abel. Tell me where Lily went. Yeah. Now! Don't think I forgot what you did last episode, buddy. <laughs> you were shooting to kill. Oh, shit. That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? Yeah. We're all gonna die. Spoiler. You can patch him up. I hope so. I hope so. And I hope he suffers every moment till he does. You're gonna get your wish. Don't say that. You push me off that balcony. Something must have burst inside of me. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> Are we gonna have to kill him? My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will. For my body to dirt on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. Sounds like a deal. Let's do it. I'm down, 100%. Yeah, I'm let's give him, you. give him your word. I believe him. If I mean, you're honest come on. With me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. You guys are on a boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. All right, let's kill him. Please. Mercy kill. Him. I don't want to turn. Like, I mean, come on. I've been a little heartless so far, but he Not stopped. That. I want to let me keep my face. Well, then how are we gonna do it? Are we gonna gas you? Are we gonna? Uh, let's see. Wait, I want you to see this. You don't have to watch. You don't need to watch this. I want to. Ooh. <laughs> That's because he's hardened. Oh, oh, wow. Gameplay. Okay. We're going to make you do it. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. AJ looks to you for guidance yeah. in this world. Okay. 
You just tortured a man in front of him. Yeah, I know, Telltale. Thank you. Look at what you did. You're like rubbing my face in the dirt. Look Come at on. what you did. We have a boat to find. You feel good about your decisions, punk? Look at what you're turning AJ into. It's all your fault. You made the wrong decisions. Okay, we just watched the opening cinematic. I can't put it in the video because it features a copyrighted song and they claimed my last two videos so they got all the revenue from it. So I can't include it, but it's just the same one. You can go back to a previous episode and watch it if you want. Oh, you've got the bow now? Guess we're not eating tonight. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Is this our assault crew? Yeah, Ted Are you doesn't fuck it up this time. Okay. It wasn't Tin's fault. Ooh. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he said one up. more thing about Tin. I dare you. Give Guys, me a reason. Look. You know, this could be a trap. We'll have to see. Like, he could have not been telling the truth. Because I think they're dealing with something bigger than, than us. And I think it's the Whisperers. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay. Let's spread out and focus on those areas. Don't act Keep like you're your gonna remember low. that. That went in one ear and out the other, AJ. Don't act like you just got all that info and you're gonna store it for later. Spy on the raiders. Let's go. First, let's talk to Violet. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. Look for a way into the boat. Look at raiders. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. Man, I feel like I'm playing Far Cry. About to take a fort or something. How am I going to do this? Wait, I I'll see Lewis. <laughs> I'll snipe their watchman. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Okay, yeah. So he wasn't lying. Interesting. Uh, that guy, he seems to be their main lookout. Look at path. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. Well, not from that way. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Water! It's called the water. Oh, wow, that was quick. They've got, like, an invisible fence, or? No. Crossbow, okay. Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. It's easy. Just throw a party. Free beer. They'll come out. Examine pier. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. Examine entrance. What about anything over here? Let's see. This pilot house. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. They're in the brig, we dude. Asked Abel. You ever been on a boat he before? Said on a boat? I didn't think it'd be this big. Yeah, they're in the brig. Ever play Sea of Thieves? That's where you put the random. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's right. a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. <laughs> what? AJ sized. What does that mean? Intel. Small opening. Thanks for the intel. Intelligence has detected a small opening. Oh, uh, we gotta talk to this little shit over here. Pick up rabbit's foot. Is that a collectible? A rabbit's foot. Well, it's for good luck. About a rabbit's foot. You don't think? We'll take it home. We can give it back to him once we've saved him. He probably just dropped it. He's not dead. I mean, if he is, I don't care. I'll keep it safe. Yeah, not not a big Omar fan. To be honest, 
I can't remember who Omar is. I get him mixed up with Asim. All right, let's talk to Willie. That's their name. Anything useful? I didn't even Looks know. Like building material, furniture, probably stuff from the train station. The building is made out of building material. Got it. Thanks for the assessment. Let's examine the rafts. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. We got more intel, guys. We could burn these or cut them loose. Oh, major decision. Uh, yeah, let's look around a little more. Anything else to look at? Oh, look at the supplies and torches. Huh, are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. Maybe. Yeah, they are torches. <laughs> Maybe. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. I don't think you guys need it, to be honest. You guys are holding up just fine. Okay. So what, what now? Who do we go to? You know, I picked uh, Violet as my romantic partner. And I don't really have much investment in her or Lewis. I didn't actually get that much backlash from it. Some people were like, oh, of course you pick Violet. Everyone picks Violet. What about Lewis? What about the man? But it wasn't more backlash than I've gotten for other games for making similar, like, equally weighted decisions. Like, uh, when I played Life is Strange, I probably caught more flack in Life is Strange from choosing to go with, uh, Warren over Chloe. So, whatever. Just one of those things. Talk to AJ. Find anything over here? Nothing. They have horses. Let me see. But no matter what, no decision in any choice game has compared to Kenny versus Jane from season two. The most polarizing choice I've ever seen for some fucking reason. Let's look at the horses. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. We got more intel. They've got horses, guys. This is supposed to be like a little, like headset, you know. What? They've got horses. New intel. Yeah, they got torches. More torches. We're gonna set. We're gonna burn the horses loose, or setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. You guys are really screwing up their system over here. I got an achievement, all seeing, because I looked at we everything. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. Well, you guys are all short, because you're kids. And there's tall grass, so... I don't think there's any chance of them spotting you, but... Hey, better safe than sorry. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Okay. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. Burn the hay. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot. Yeah, no shit. What'd you think was gonna happen? You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Is Clementine gonna become a whisperer at the end of all this? Wouldn't that be Perfect. interesting? What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the Raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick. Who's that? New character. Oh, me too, I guess. Who's that person? 
Bonnie? No. A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. What? What? How? What do you... Who is this person? There's a reason they're not showing their face. Drop it. Why aren't you talking? The kids your people stole. Have they been hurt? I don't know what you're. Okay, not, not Bonnie. Around. Answer the question. No. no. We need them to fight. They're all okay. It's Violet's sister, I bet. Clementine, wait. Yeah. That, that's Minnie. Okay. Wait, they're sisters, right? Or I can't remember. Just After friends? The attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. It'll be interesting to hear her perspective. Ruby, Mitch, Brody, Ten. Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Dad's boots holding up okay. His boots are so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. Okay. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the new kid. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Hey! Who do you think you're talking to? Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did. But like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. I'm gonna ruin your face in a second, bitch. The hell he gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlon would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Many are wrong. Glenn protected us. Yeah. No, no, Glenn, so many people are dead. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Yeah, that's right. Oh. Where's Sophie? Shock it all, bitch. Is she alive? She. She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you Minerva! Shit. Minerva? Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> I almost missed that. My hands weren't on the keyboard. I did enjoy our, our whisper fight. Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Is she gonna tattle on me? Better not fucking tattle on me. Don't you yes, do it. Okay. What? Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do... Don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. We gave you a way out? Okay, see, like, there's something so important happening that's just beyond us. You know? It kind of makes me want to be on their side. Because, like, these, I mean, these kids have been living their cushy little post-apocalyptic life okay. at the school, but... Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna allow it to happen, though. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I oh. warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. I don't know, man. I... 
I don't know about James. Hmm. That guy seems a little odd. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Zero. Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. What happened? Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Ow. I was not Here, getting infected. Let's rest a second. Take a look at it. Take a look at his wound. Let's make sure it's okay. Let's see what color it is. Check it out. Or don't. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. Wow, he's learning. I wanted to hurt him. Social dynamics. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. Sometimes staying focused on what I'm doing helps me forget when I'm angry. Just uh, think about saving our friends or... Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Right now it's just different. I can't make my brain switch to thinking about that. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Hmm. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. It was. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. Exactly. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Right. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? Damn. When there's a plan, you have to follow it. AJ's insightful. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them, too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it it's is our experiences Erickson's that boarding shape school us. for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay. Oh, um, boy. Sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. Nature versus nurture. I knew a doctor once, back Which is when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. I don't know how to answer this. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like, I like AJ. Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. <laughs> I like AJ. I don't get the comparisons I've seen some people make to, uh, oh, that kid in season three. The guy, the son, nephew, whatever he was. He's nothing like AJ. Gabe, ugh. Just saying it gives me shivers. Gabe, ugh. All right, so what, we're gonna just... I guess we'll just move forward. Gabe, ugh. I don't see James, just monsters. <coughs> James? You're hurt. Don't trust this fucking K-pop dude. Get out of here. Do the Raiders do this? I don't like him. It looked like they 
had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. This is a trick. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. I don't like this dude. Using only E to stun walkers will satisfy James's request. Alright, man. Wait, what's going on? Oh. Alright. Move your BTS looking ass, dude. I'll try to distract him, I guess. Wait, no! Press E! Okay, wait. I'll just let him kill me. I told you to stun him, Clementine! And she was just like... Oh. <laughs> Oops. You didn't select the exact right instant to press E. Right there. Okay. We're gonna move around to the side. There we go. You. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not you. Go! What? There's an invisible wall there! There's an invisible wall there! <laughs> I guess I can't go get it, right? Yeah, take your sweet time, James. Okay. No, what? Yeah, no rush, dude. No freaking rush. What? Oh, okay. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Yeah, not Did very long. Mask? I can't find it. The horses must have there. We'll go get oh, it! Shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! Hey, JMVP. No, there are too many of them. The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Okay. Weird plan, but I can get behind it. Oh no! <laughs> Sorted. Why didn't you just do that to begin with? I guess you didn't think of it. Whatever. Stupid ass zombies. AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. Good. James noticed that you spared the walkers. I know it would have been Good. easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. I got an achievement. Mercy. <laughs> Your relationship with James has changed. What, does he trust me more now, or...? Thank you for helping me get this back. I want to be a whisperer, just like you. Now... How will walkers save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. Told you you wouldn't go it's for it. It's our only chance. But the walkers will die. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James. They better not show us like some we still need his dead help, walkers. Right? Yeah, we do. Look, they didn't stand a chance. 
They just killed them. My friends. All right, James, I'm leaving your ass here. We're going to figure out some other plan. Why don't you become a walker if you love him so much, huh? It's safe. Just a little further. Is this your little backwater hut? Ooh. Talk to James! <laughs> I like how it's all caps. Go talk to him! Well, wait. First of all, there might be collectibles around. We gotta get those collectibles. Look at Power Pole. Hmm. Must have had electricity here once. I would hope so, otherwise there'd be no point to the Power Pole. Pick up toy. Ah, a broken toy. That's the name of the episode. Beatnik. Cool. One of Disco Broccoli's chive-talking friends. Huh? Look at Salt Lick. <gasps> it's like what we Quinn, killed Larry with. What's this? It's called a Salt Lick. You're supposed to lick it. Salt Lick? Ugh, sounds gross. Go ahead, lick it. Or maybe it's actually good. Like chips. Those are salty, right? Go ahead. Lick it if you want to. <laughs> oh, gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. Ah, that was a fun little interaction. I enjoyed that. I got an achievement. Did you lick it? Well, clearly, yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten the achievement. Take wind chimes. A wind chime. Might be pretty in our room. Oh, okay. I guess we'll take it. Pretty and peaceful. How come they're not jingling around in our pocket? Okay, game's stuttering a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm not sure why it's happening. Probably nothing on my side. Everything looks good. My people. My former people. They had a practice. They called it the practice. Collecting. Oh. Oh my God. It's like Herschel's barn full of walkers in the TV show. They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Well, AJ thinks they're monsters, so. Deep down, so few of us die anymore. We turn, not dead. Not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. What? You lost me. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Yeah. Clem's friend, Lee. She let him. Yeah, I let him turn. Do you really think there's nothing left of who he was? I don't know, man. There might be something, a Maybe. possibility. I guess it's kind of nice to think that the something that made Lee, Lee, is still out there. Even if it's not the way he was before. I think so, too. 
Yeah, but like... I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone. They're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. I know, She'll buddy. She'll be safe. I, I know. Promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move Lewis would as not do, do it for us. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. Thanks, AJ. I have I a lot to say will. about this. Even if they are there, they're trapped in a body that's not controlled by them. In my, in my opinion, that's when you pull the plug, so to speak. The first rule is they can't. never go alone. I'm not leaving you. If they're I'll still in right there, back. they Check probably the want to die. I will. Remember to breathe. I will. I promise. Like, you think they want to stay cooped up in a barn for the rest of eternity? The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Touch the wind chime. Okay, this is this is weird. First person. Whoa. Kind of cool. It's okay. It's all good. All good. There's a wind chime right there. Is that the only one? <sighs> <laughs> They're so peaceful. They're so peaceful and harmless. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Make a hole, gentlemen. Make a hole. Touch the wind chimes. Touch them. Okay. In the direction of the arrow. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hold it. What was that? Where's everyone going? Bingo? changed my mind. Yeah, they heard a sound, so they went over there. I'm still gonna kill all of them. Oh, hey there, kiddo. It's all right, I'm Separation fine. Separation anxiety. See? No bites. Codependence. No bites. Okay. So, do you still think they're just monsters. Yes! Now, you've seen them at peace. Any different? At all? I'll say I'm not so sure now, just I, uh... I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Nah. Low-key, nah, really? but... Never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before too. AJ, 
You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? Duh. Yeah, are you going to lead them to their death? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. Oh, the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... My friends are alive, not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Okay. It's where Those the raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, they're not. I don't doubt they're worth saving. They're, they're not. They're not gonna buy this shit. <laughs> It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. Oh no, they'll die. I do think it's interesting that James said he's never met anyone who understood. So that means that there aren't others like him right now. Which is kind of weird. Not what I was expecting. I thought maybe he was like part of a society of people like him or maybe he was ostracized from that society. But I guess that Clint, isn't a thing that has happened When you said there yet. might be people inside walkers, did you mean it? Is he right? That's why you want Honestly, to hear. I just told him what he wanted to hear. Walkers are just walkers. So you lied? Well, he needed his yeah. help to save our friends. So lies can help sometimes. AJ on, learned there's value in life. That's the wrong lesson. Too dark. That's the wrong lesson for you to learn, kid. You don't have, like, the social maturity to understand when it's a good idea to lie and when it's not. Damn. Achievement unlocked. Whispers. Man, we're only like a third way through the game. I've been playing for a long time. Do I play slower than other people? I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. <laughs> I'm glad you like him, AJ. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot and nanny before the big fight. Hoot and nanny? Huh? It's it sounds like a swear. It's not a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but right. people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Can I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. The artist needs his his room empty so he can concentrate. You're disturbing the artist, Clem. I'm Clem. gonna make the deck, uh, the decor, decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. I'm gonna make the decoration for the party. Place your collectibles for leaving. Uh, sir, yes, sir. Here I go. Yeah. How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. Oh, he would like that. <laughs> cool. 
Yeah, you'd like that. That's a terrible sketch. That's I'm not gonna lie. That's what I do on the etch a sketch or line doodle or whatever. So wait, that's it? Didn't we get a, another toy? Use sketch toy. Draw from memory. Draw something new. Draw from memory. Draw something new. Uh. Oh my God. Oh no! Don't make me do this. It kind of controls like an etch a sketch too. There, it's a heart. Yeah, I did it. It's terrible. I didn't realize where the line was at first. Wait, let's draw from memory. What does that do? Clamp. What the hell? That's some talent. Listen, I can I can draw okay. I've never been able to use an edge of sketch for more than just making squares and stuff. That's not bad. Yeah, I think our collectible shelf is pretty pathetic. That's just me. Okay. Pick up coffee heater. Where are you putting come down, that? Come come see. Okay, be right there. Hang on, I, I gotta put down the... Ruby wants to make some tea, I get it. Don't I have something in my... I have wind chimes. Hang rabbit's foot. Okay, yeah. There, for luck. Are bunnies lucky? Just their feet. I have the rabbit's foot, I have the toy, and then I have the wind chimes. So, where do I put all those? Let's see, hang on. Wind chimes here, or... Talk to AJ, not yet. Hang on. Place Beatnik. There he is. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Why is it Do funny? Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, where are we supposed to put the wind chimes? Oh my god, hang wind chimes. You hang them from the ceiling I like fan. like the music, even though it's loud. Cool. Touch them. Nice. Okay. What's up, AJ? I guess I didn't get all the collectibles, whatever. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. Uh-huh. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. Usually look like dirty water. Mm -hmm. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. Mm -hmm. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. Well, I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. Never get soft. You're yeah, a good person, AJ. Whatever. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. You're the best, okay? I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Probably better to be smart than good yes, in this world. Because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Shit. Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside, Damn. Or outside, or how careful you are. Well, I answered. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot me. Shoot. No. 
No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. Oh. Making if his own decisions. Bit, I'd want you to bite me too. No! No. That's what? not happening. You don't mean mm -mm. that. I wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. Clementine was I alone. I can't live with you, not with me, Clem. But I'll bite you I so hard. I know we talked about it. So much. But don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Uh-oh. Yes, you are. You are, okay? So Clementine's gonna get bit <sighs> at the end of the season. You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. Yeah, but miserable. If bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. A, a shit together? We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Yeah. Science! Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Oh, AJ mad. <laughs> What's with AJ? Get mad. He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today with Minnie? Okay. Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. She's hardened. Not sheltered like you guys anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. She's one of them now. It's not Minnie's fault. It's not Minnie's fault. The Raiders just got in her head. I never said it was. Okay. But it doesn't change anything. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, Look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he... He really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Yeah, but he's also kind of a Especially shithead. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim. We'll get them all back. Stand up straight, girl. Um, I made you this. Some trash? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll take your heartfelt gift. Stars. So you never forget that night. How'd you make this? I never will. A night I'll never forget. You said you wanted to take things slow, and I'm fine with that. Really. Are we gonna kiss or what? There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. Kiss, we're gonna kiss. What is it? We're gonna have do it. Have you ever danced with anyone before? Oh, dance. <laughs> nope. We don't have any music. Do you wanna? Yes. Clem Just deserves ha happiness. No one else around. Clem deserves some happiness. She's been through the ringer. Let her have this moment. This would be so much better with music, though. <laughs> we need to get like a cassette player or something, like a boombox.
All right. Thanks for the dance. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, we're <laughs> getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for the 20 second dance. Hey, Clem! Oh! I didn't even. My hands were off the keyboard. <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. <laughs> I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. I found it in the trash. <gasps> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. Cool. Bye. <laughs> it's just like it's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back. <laughs> Toss it back to him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> hey. Bad catch, man. We need to get you better at sports, so you'll never get that scholarship. Ah. What a nice day. You, wow. I love you back, kiddo. Great friends. <sighs> okay. We Great gotta partner. Get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. When's it gonna all come crumbling down around us? It's gotta be soon, right? Ah! What a terrific drawing. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. Man, this is sad. If we're gonna die. We should have some fun first. How can anyone have fun at this? Music? Look at it. But Lewis isn't here. Plant sweet See that? party. It's like Lewis in a box. Okay, we need. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Music is more important than candle color. Let Let's. We gotta go Pulled with the right music. out the old music. headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but country. It should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Jazz, not classical. That's boring. Jazz. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. I know some of you guys might like Pretty country. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz? But like? I'd rather die. Uh, that one's hard to describe. Mm, just wait till you hear it. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and you uh, put it on here. Okay. And then it plays music? Uh-huh. And now you just have to turn that crank on the side. Huh, that's really cool. Okay, candle color. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Can I see them? Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Room gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment purple. that maybe? Purple. Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? What? I like purple. Shouldn't you like it too? Violet? Yeah. I'll make it happen. Yeah, purple. I mean, I don't know. Red's a little too loud. Green's a little too like, oh, let's uh eat some biscuits and <laughs> talk about the news. Okay, let's let's choose the banner. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. See you on the other side. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. We're getting them back. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. <laughs> Ten's this like, place is gonna look what are we great. Doing? What's going on? Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Willie's the loose cannon now. It's like, every episode there's a loose cannon. Episode one, it was Marlin. Episode two, it was Mitch. And now hey, it's Clem. Willie. Check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. Wow. Some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. 
and from hurting anyone else ever again. What's the plan? We're gonna blow up the boat. Well, where do you think they're the gonna go? To make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. If we blow up the what? boat. No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. Do you see the graffiti on the back? Simon's dead. Peggy's Hang dead. Up. Clem. Ralph's I'm next. Sorry before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. I know you know that. That's You're nice, just grieving. Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Yeah. Apologize. 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 Oh no. No, stop. Is Rosie gonna dance? Rosie better not die. That's all I have to say. Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. All my but decisions just matter. Just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. Wow, let's mingle with the people we already know. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. We're gonna name I mean, it Mitch. I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. It's gonna be named Mitch. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. Mitch's masterpiece. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah. I like that. They will remember Mitch that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. Wow, AJ likes I jazz. Found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. What? Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. Are we going to see something and interesting? All the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. I like that. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. Oh, fun. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. Is it you? While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Who is that? Violet? Marlin. Marlin was angry and violent. That's all of you. Could be Violet. Could be Marlin, it's not Ruby. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Violet? Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> what? Oh, shit, really? I, I even Guilty called it. as charged. But I didn't follow through. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. Okay, so it's she not necessarily like, uh, who they are now. You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> True. I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please. Yeah. No. Chronic masturbation. Trust me. 
Nobody wanted to know that. <laughs> Aw. What does that mean? Willie. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Don't you dare. AJ has no idea. <laughs> that was a quick explanation for something that's... Uh, anyway... Not a quick explanation. Maybe we should change up the music? I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. I don't know. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Put on the classical stuff. I mean, it's something calmer for a sit-down thing that we're doing, I guess. This is pretty loud classical stuff, like... Yeah, this is rambunctious classical music. <laughs> I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? Who? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Oh my god, can you imagine having braces? Aaron. You'd never get yeah, them taken off. I used off. to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? Well, I wait can tell you why we're here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. Only if you want to share. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. Uh -huh. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And, uh, Use that to push the trigger in. So yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. Worst party ever! I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry, this is supposed to be fun. I'm I'm just not the game type like Lewis was, I guess. Why went to the music? You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Many would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I can do that. Oh, no. 
This is gonna make me feel uncomfortable. I don't like being sung to. Acapella. Never mind the darkness. Never mind the storm. Never mind the blood red moon. The night will be over soon. The night will be over soon. That's it, right? Very good. Now. For I... every night goes quiet. And every moon grows blue. Beyond the dark comes something new. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. Okay, that was the, the third. The sun will be rising soon. That's got to be the end of it, right? It's got to be the end. Okay. Whew. I don't know why it makes me... Actually, I know why it makes me feel so uncomfortable. It's like the reverent silent that falls upon the room. Just like, I don't know, it's like, don't you dare say anything while that person over there singing a cappella. I don't know, it just makes me feel weird. I got an achievement though, Nightlight. For those of you that saw my transference playthrough I did a couple weeks ago, there's an a cappella uh, sequence in that one that kind of made me hide my face a bit. It's just, I don't know, I don't like being sung to. What is this, though? How dare you show us Lee again? Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Lee looks a little different. Wow. Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kind of had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. Uh, you were a handful. But I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It's not. It's not. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. 
Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. Well, yeah. What? Because you're not around. Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. If I can make I it this really far. I really believe that. Yeah, I made it this far, didn't I? You sure did, when a lot of other people couldn't. Never give in, Clem. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Don't say don't break the immersion. If you know of any. Out and safe. Out and safe. My friends are fighters. We can do this. <sighs> to think when I cut your hair. I was just following the advice of an old drunk we just met. Yeah, that guy. But you you have a knack for surviving. You've kept those kids alive. They look up to you. You're a leader, Clem. A natural. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. Cool. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. Uh, ben, you teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? I really don't know. The world AJ was born into is awful. It's really awful now, Lee. And I just don't know if I'm teaching him right. I can't think of anyone who could do it better. The devs were like, let's make them cry. Wow. Just look at you. Oh. <laughs> Just look at you. I know I told you I'd always keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I, I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. <sighs> Goodbye, Lee. Nya. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk.
All right. Let's freaking do it, man. That wasn't funny, I don't know why I laughed. It's kind of funny. You just killed a real person. You monster. Uh, I guess we're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. <laughs> Guys, this is James. He's my friend. Wow. AJ's He's, so proud. Uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Okay. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to, not right now. <gasps> get him, AJ. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good sure, idea. James. Hold tight. Let's go have a conversation Hey, alone. Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. Okay. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded, accepting, like you. Hmm. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Well, you'll see. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. That one boy called me cool. Not sure anyone's ever said that to me. They could be your friends, though. They could be your friends, too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time, but it does sound nice. Yeah. Let me think about it. Probably the reason why you think about walkers the way you do is because you've lived by yourself for so long. I wanted to show you something. You start to see them as people because you haven't been around actual people. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. Wait, what? Wait, so you but guys... It changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. I thought that you had never met anyone that mean? thought the way you did. The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that, fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack... You killed him. I slit his throat. Well, that's who he used to be. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. Okay. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That's not like you? I don't know if I want to say that. that Whatever. That's enough of a reason for me. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore. But it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us. Just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. So you are exiled from the... AJ told me he killed someone. It reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong. But it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age. 
It breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I don't know what to say. Having the life of another in your hands, it's a lot. I'm sure. Yeah, are you a parent? Just consider it. That's all I ask. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. Let's go. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. Let's do this. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Okay. That's Thank fine. Thank you. See you later. Take care of AJ. I will. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Okay. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. I just don't feel like that's a good idea. Blowing up their boat? I think we'd be sabotaging something that's bigger than us. <gasps> See you all on the other side. And also, where do you think they're going to go if they can't get on the boat back I'll to their friends? We'd have to kill all of them unless we wanted to be besieged at the school. Again. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, tell her, tell her I forgive her. All right. Please. I tell Are you going to die? You're going to die, aren't you? I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Those are some last Thanks. words. They're gonna kill ten. That's a death flag. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Yeah, let's get cracking. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. Who's I, Omar? I really care about you, Clem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you too. I'm the main character, don't worry. I won't. Kiss. Let's kiss. Now kith. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Go look in another direction. <laughs> Aw, <Aww>, AJ. <laughs> you see him lower his head? He was like, Aw. Are we good? Okay. Yeah. I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. Some tells me it's not gonna be all of them. We're gonna have to make a hard so, choice. I know this is gonna sound gross, but covering your smell. Well, if you have hard. to choose between Lewis. Hmm. Use guts. All right. Press F to use guts. Ew. Get my back. Textures look good though. Smear guts on violet. Your choices matter. The game adjusts to the way that you play. Thanks. AJ's getting jealous. Not romantically, you just. It? You know, attention wise. We're doing it. All right, guys. 
Here goes. The Great Boat Siege. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Walkers! Yeah, use them as a shield. Oh no. Use Q to get behind walkers. Yeah, I just did that. I'm good. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Use the walkers as shields. I wonder if James is gonna get mad. If James is gonna get mad, he's like, I saw you use those walkers as shields. Is that all they are to you? Oh. Okay. There's only like one left, dude. Crap. No, I'm gonna die. Oh, they miss. They're they're terrible. No. That was like an automatic shot that happened. There were no more walkers to use as shields. Okay, I've played this thing like five times. I keep running out of zombies. So I'm just gonna stay back. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go over here. Okay, good. I still got one in front of me. And there's one to the left. Okay. I'll get this one now. That's it. Damn it, the horses. Hey, get the fire under control. Get rid of these fucking walkers. Come on, Willie. They haven't even noticed us yet. Wow. <gasps> You'd be deaf. You would be deaf right now. Our chance. Good thing he didn't clock her in the head just now. We can't get in the water. Cover, we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Press W. Gameplay. Oh, D. Sorry. My mistake. Oh. Careful, guys. Get underneath the dock. The guts are washing off. Well, we don't really need the zombies anymore. Oh. Wow, if we were a zombie, they'd be so freaking dead. Follow me. This way. What? Where are we going? Oh my god, they're underneath the water. That's kind of cool. It take a sweet time by all means. No! Yeah, kick him in the face. James will remember that. Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. You should have let the walker kill you. Ah, uh, the guts are all washed off. That's not good. Stay close. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll wait this time. I just thought we had more more of a window there. Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. Sounds like she calls me fucker there. Fucker. You okay? Stay close. Stay hidden. <laughs> Got him. Oh, come on. Yeah. Wow, they just charge ahead. Come on, let's hurry. Ready, agent? So how are we getting in here? Walkers. Oh no. Stun him. We'll try our best not to kill them. Okay, we gotta kill this one. 
All right. <laughs> These sequences, I think, are a little... You have to do things a little too specifically to get through them. Whatever, I guess I'll kill them. I, maybe you can get through just stunning them, but... We're, we've got our backs up against the wall, literally, so... I'm just gonna have to shoot them. James can get over it. Walkers. Besides, I personally believe this is the right thing to do, so. What? What the? Oh, they're waiting in line. A line's forming. Okay, do I have to kill them? I guess I have to do that. It seems like it's uh, not a timed sequence or anything. It's just when you kill all four, you get through. Achievement unlocked, shoreline. This is our D-Day. I like this kind of boopy shit in the background. Boop, 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 boop. We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Ah. And he said they didn't hurt anyone. We'll have to hope she told the truth. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? All right, let's go. Find the boiler! Oh. Stealth. Let's go, guys. Check door. That can't be it. That'd be way too easy. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's check this one. Are there any collectibles in here? <laughs> Probably not. There. I aced that. It must happen no matter what. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was that sassy mm hmm for? Eh, let's knock him out. Oh. I mean, are you sure we didn't kill his ass just then? Because. <laughs> Gotta be the boiler, right? Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. There's got to be something more going on here. I want to know what it is. Uh, we can't try this door, okay? Wait here. So what are we doing? Sneaking up on him? What? Eh, I'll go non-lethal. It's my favorite way to play stealth games anyway. Sleep darts. Dude, if he's not dead, he's got brain damage. <laughs> Maybe killing them is the better way. I mean, even if we don't kill him, what's gonna happen? After we blow up the boat, I guess there we're just. Go. Mitch's masterpiece. I mean, that guy's gonna die now. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? I'm not sure. An hour, thirty minutes. Let's hurry up then. Yeah, it might have been good to know. So wait, how is it exploding? How how is the bomb igniting? 
climb stairs. But then there's also this door, which doesn't do anything, so never mind. We'll go up the stairs. You are so lucky. The AI's on easy here. <laughs> Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. Minerva, focus. I, I have a little brother, just a short, scarred face. Is he? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. She had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Why not? Is she just that good? Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this... He wanted to be. Just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. The magic words. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Okay, interesting. Come on, we have to hurry. Hmm. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god. Oh, that's okay? Omar. Okay. Doesn't look hurt. I. Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Is that the first time take Omar's ever spoken? First. He's. He's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Okay. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. What? Check on Lewis. Why is it so foreboding? Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Don't She's trapping us. Hmm. Clem will become a soldier for Delta. Lewis didn't even turn around when Clem got hit over the head. Oh. Oh. Lewis. Did they take his tongue? <laughs> they said they had they said they didn't hurt them, right? They took Lewis's tongue. We'll never hear him sing again. Might be a good thing. But wow. What did they do to you? No! No, no, don't. They they uh Cut out his tongue. Why? He just, uh, he kept fucking talking. Oh my god. Okay, fuck these guys now. Fuck them. I'm sorry, Lewis. Now. Nah. <laughs> uh, they'll pay for this. We'll make these bastards pay for this. They'll pay for this. I promise you, Lewis. That's fucked up. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Damn, man. It's okay. They wouldn't have cut out Violet's tongue. Maybe I should have saved Lewis last episode. Or episode one, I guess. You'll be home soon. Yeah, episode two. Escape! Look at Scratches. We're not staying here that long. Yeah. True. I got an achievement. Tally. Wow. I I feel so accomplished. Talk to Lewis. Uh hang on, hang on. Look at Gap. So where are the rest of them? Where's Violet and is it just me who got Oh yeah, okay, so she's cooked uh cooped up too. Look at sheet metal. Okay. So that's the same thing you did with the gap. Look through door. Clementine. 
Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Talk to Violet. Talk to AJ. AJ. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. I mean, it's still iron. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... Maybe we should have told Minnie that. Maybe we should have been like, hey, listen, we just planted a bomb somewhere and uh, you're gonna let us out. We're not oh, gonna tell you where it you is. Are you hurt? I, fuck, I just wanna go home. We will. Okay. Okay. I found your rabbit's foot back on the beach. Clearly it doesn't work. Well, I, we didn't bring it with us. How are you holding up? I can't talk. If Lily... She told us not to talk. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Okay. Is that it, though? Is that it? I'm looking up here, seeing if there's anything. Okay. So what, we talk to Lewis now? Or look at the bucket. What's in the bucket? I'll get us out of here. Hmm. I promise. Yeah, but like, what do we do? Ah, the latch. We've got one too, just like it. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ. Do you still have your knife? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Don't you think this will make a lot of noise? Uh, okay. Yeah, grab Shiv. Don't show the Shiv to Lewis. What do you think they cut out his tongue with? Okay. Let's get on this, I guess. You have AJ Shiv. A last resort. Let's chip away at it. Nobody's around. Although I don't hear any gunshots, so I guess they're done with the walkers. So what's Willie doing? What's Ten doing? Hey! <gasps> Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. No. It's you. <laughs> I'm guessing she's the one that cut his tongue out. Yep. Right here. Right here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Oh, my right <laughs> ear enjoyed that. Thanks, AJ. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it. We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Didn't matter. Back up. Back up. Make sure you put your put your foot over the shiv. Drag it with you. No, don't do that. Just drag it with your Minerva. foot. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Normally, yes, ma the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. Uh huh. But you're going to torture me instead. Or you're going to cut out my tongue. But I'm genuinely impressed. First you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and killed two of my most experienced soldiers. 
Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta, it might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Oh yeah? Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. Uh -huh. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, I always hated no Larry. more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. Yeah. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. Yeah. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? Duck's a surprise club. What? What are you doing? What are you going to do? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Were you Two an apostle? Girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. I believe it. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. Uh. And what happened to the other one? But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Yeah, I know you did. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie, no, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. I guess I'm fucking and brainwashed. I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? I think the dead one. What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil. You are fucking evil. Y'all been okay, back sleep. away <laughs> from the door. I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say. Oh. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around. So predictable. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. Oh no, Violet. Get her tongue they cut out. They didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Oh, AJ. Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! AJ. 
Easy. Stay still. You gonna cut her hand off? You, no! They're kids, dude. I mean, yeah, they're dangerous kids, obviously. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Meiji, take the risk. Just breathe. Get him. Get him, Meiji. You got this. Bit of a check of her ear. Bing! Stop! That's enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! But he bit me though. Let's get him. You deserve to die. Let's tear him apart. AJ, tell we'll her off. kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Dang. Ooh. I like that. So you killed Marlin. Huh. Oh no, she's gonna take AJ. That's bad. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Mm. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Mm. Don't fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. I will. This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you, for Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought it was a chance. I know. Wow, that was quick. I know, okay? But Sophie's dead. You all need to understand. Hit her with the door. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you. <laughs> Get her. Let's move. Behind you. You're the fucking problem here. I won't let you get them all killed. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Get a pilot. Nova! I can't let her leave! Shit! Now she's got the hard choice. Ooh. Damn, that's a powerful crossbow. <laughs> Went all the way through her like that. Yeah, sorry, not we sorry. I can't. I can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Clem, come on! We have to get the hell out of here! Go, I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will. Bye. Get out of here, dudes. This is a woman's job. <laughs> Better not hurt AJ. I'm gonna hurt you. Shit, they started the boiler. <laughs> what if that bomb does nothing? What if it does absolutely nothing? We'll focus that energy. Sharpen. Rescue AJ. Got it. I'm I've on it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come out. Oh, yeah? He looking over here. There we go. Let's go, You'll dude. come around too. Once you see what Found we one more off. sneaking over the Plenty docks. Food, comfortable beds for you and Found one more sneaking over Tim. the docks. Oh, truck. Tennessee. 
Did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. Ma'am! This way. We need, we need that gun, man. We need that gun that he's carrying. Don't listen to me if I've got Found this in the herd. an assault rifle. No! No wonder there were so many walkers. I guess they know who he is. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. James is, is kind of cool. So? You force it's weird, your ways but... onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. Your people. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <laughs> Kill it. No! Fuck! Tennessee's totally dead. Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we <laughs> all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Don't turn your back on the girl with the gun, Ten. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. Oh, brother. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! <laughs> oh, who's that? Who did that? <laughs> Oh, she pulled her hair, even though she cut it. <laughs> Stop! Stop it, guys! Oh, oh no! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Oh, I have to hold it. AJ, AJ's got the gun. He's gonna shoot Lily. Now she's winning the armor sling match. Ah! You made a big fucking. Aren't you a grown ass woman? I'm like a 15 year old girl. Fucking wait. AJ, it's not good enough to just stab her. Oh, that God, that would hurt. Could be a trick. She cut my friend's tongue out. I I don't trust you this. You don't have to do this, please. It's a trick. Don't you? Even ten agrees. Me. Ten agrees that it's a trick. I just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Do it, AJ. Shit. No. We've seen her do that before. If he had lowered it, she would have taken it. That's what I think. Yeah, I know James is mad at me now, but whatever. Lily, we couldn't find the other. What did you do? You were fucking dead. Oh, there's the bomb. Looks like we screwed Shit, everything up. AJ! I got an achievement. Leader.
You had 93% of players mercy killed Abel? I was not expecting it to be that strong of a choice. Eh, okay. Copyrighted music, we're not including that in the video. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there instead, but. Okay, so we got that. You and 94% of players respected James' belief and killed no walkers. That's a vast majority. 3% killed some of the walkers. 3% ignored James's wishes and killed all the walkers in the camp. 66% named the bomb Mitch's masterpiece. Of course, it's the best name. 4% of players had the bomb named AJ. You cheesy fuckers. 17% Willie Jr., 10% Ruby's Revenge. I don't know why it would be called Ruby's Revenge, but that's just me. 78% allowed AJ to attack Dorian, stopping her from cutting off your friend's finger. 22% stopped AJ and let Dorian cut off your friend's finger. Wow, I've, I've, I've been with the majority this entire episode. Like, the vast majority. 42% of players told AJ to kill Lily. 58% refused to tell AJ to kill Lily. But that doesn't mean that he didn't still do it, right? 58% of players refuse to tell AJ to kill Lily. I, I wonder if he kills her anyway. Wow. Okay. So what's next? Lily was unfazed by your threat to kill her after she tried to threaten you into cooperation. She's dead. That implies that she could be alive at the end of the episode, but I don't know. Violet, M-I-A. Violet felt romantic after you danced together. Violet was touched that you wanted to hear why she was sent to Erickson. Or Eriskon, I guess. Violet felt understood after you expressed sympathy about her reason for coming to Erickson. Violet was thankful when you let AJ stop Toria from cutting her off her finger. I would hope so. Louis, M.I.A. Was traumatized after his time spent with the Raiders. Terrified by your promise to fight back against the Raiders. AJ felt conflicted. M.I.A. What does M.I.A. mean? Oh, I guess they're all MIA because I'm knocked out right now. Felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning. AJ felt defeated. He felt defeated when you said there was no way to prove you could be together as walkers. AJ felt powerful after you told him to shoot Lily. Abel, dead. Felt assured when you promised him mercy. Okay. Okay, here we go. James was thankful that he respected his beliefs and spared the walkers. James felt elated when you said there might be more to walkers. James was devastated that you told AJ to kill Lily. Devastated. Yeah, well. Ten was grateful when you stood up for him against Willie. Okay. Ten was grateful when you promised to tell Minerva he forgave her. That's good that he feels grateful. After episode one, we left him feeling powerless or whatever. Minerva was stunned when you told her Marlon killed Brody. Stunned. She was stunned. Minerva considered herself irredeemable despite your assertion that she should come. Minerva felt heartsick after learning Ten forgave her. Well, good. Good. I'm glad. Fuck you. Rosie is worried about everyone. Oh. <laughs> Poor little Rosie. Willie was excited that you wanted to name the bomb. Ruby was proud that you did not recognize her official Erickson evaluation. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. So she was proud. So it's good that we got it wrong. Omar and Asim are MIA. Interesting. You collected four of six items during the episode. Okay, I didn't see. Oh, I saw that. I saw that Erickson Academy banner. I didn't know that I could pick it up. Oh, well. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to keep this pretty short. Long episode. But um, Walking Dead Final Season returns. Glad that we're going to find out what happens to Clementine at the end of uh, Clementine's story. Take Us Back is the name of the next episode. I'm not sure when it's coming out. I'm assuming in like another three months or so. So this game was finished up by uh, Skybound. Uh after Telltale closed its doors, obviously. I didn't think it was going to happen, but they're finishing it up, which is great. And as far as I can tell, the quality hasn't taken a hit. 
So I, I understand that they had most of this episode done before Telltale uh, shut its doors. So maybe Skybound just kind of pieced things together and did some more, more like QA testing kind of stuff. I don't know. But uh, fine episode. Um, really eager to see where they take things. But like for the record, it's, it's kind of conflicting because I'm on the side of Delta. You know, like I understand that there's a big war going on. And that uh, things are things are happening that for some reason they're not divulging to us. I guess it's a big surprise, but uh, I, I wonder if it's some sort of twist who they're fighting, you know. But uh, yeah, cutting Lewis's tongue out and threatening AJ and taking the cleaver to Violet, like yeah, fuck you. So I'm glad I, you know wasn't cooperative in any way, and I spat in their face in every chance I took. And I'm glad that we killed Lily. I don't know what happens if you don't tell AJ to shoot Lily. I think he might shoot her anyway. Or if he lowers his gun, she might take it from him, or, I mean, I don't know. Probably nothing much different happens because the bomb's gonna go off anyway, right? So I don't think the ending changes a whole lot based on that. James looks at us differently now. He's gonna remember that and all that crap, but uh, yeah, good episode. Don't really have much more to say. I, I, I did get a little tired of getting constantly lectured about my choices, but that's just how these games are. It's like, they throw it back in your face, like, you decided to do this, didn't you? Well, that was wrong. I did think it was odd how many times in this episode I would say something, I would make a dialogue choice, and the character I was saying it to would be like, yeah, I know that, or like, yeah, duh. Or something like that. And I was like, why did I even say anything? I thought that was a little higher than usual. But that's just a very minor complaint. Okay, guys. Uh, I'll play the final episode of the final season whenever it comes out. And let me know what you guys thought about Walking Dead final season. Uh, I know this isn't the most popular series on my channel. But I'm glad I still uploaded it. And I'm glad we're going to be finishing it out together. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for a different kind of video. Think critically.